uh, to be honest, it's quite difficult. Very gentle. Jayo! Chengdu is ready. Hello everybody, my name is Andy. I come from the UK and I've been living in Chengdu for many years now. Have you heard that Chengdu will host the University Games? Today I'm here at the Gaoxin Stadium to show you some of the exciting things that we have in store for you. Well, so I'm here playing against a ping pong robot. Uh, to be honest, it's quite difficult. Um, but also a lot of fun. Okay, this is the first time I've met this machine. Uh, I'd like to say that I was the winner, but I'd be lying. So um, can you please introduce how this machine works? This is our Taiwan training machine. Its main function is to train the athletes. So now we've met the ping pong machine. I would like to ask you, are there any more interesting places in the Gaoxing sports area? Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm here at the second piece of technology we've met today. It is a warm-up and recovery yoga machine. So I stand here and have to do the actions, and it tells me how accurate my actions are. So far, they're not very accurate, to be honest. Okay, this machine is also very interesting. Can you explain how it works, please? This yoga machine, its main purpose is to be used in the exercise area. When the exercise is done, it can be used to increase the range of the exercise range. Wow, it will be very helpful for the athletes. Hi, I'm here at the Citrum Gymnasium. This is going to be the site for many basketball matches during the university games. The stadium has been here for over 30 years. So there was a lot of work done to renovate it during the last couple of years. Let's go and find out about some of the new features. Hi, hello, nice to meet you. Hello, hello, nice to meet you. Uh, can you introduce some of the new features of the stadium for us, please? Okay. Uh, it's like this. It's a building Okay, the stadium is very beautiful. Uh, how many people can sit here? Uh, we have around 4,000 people. Wow, it's so big. And also, when is the first match? Wow, it's so exciting. I can't wait to come and watch. But I've been in Chengdu for 15 years and I know that Chengdu people love to play sport. Let me take you to one of the places where people love to play football. Come with me. Hey, welcome to Chengdu FF. This place is one of the biggest football pitches in the city and it's very well known. As you can see, Chengdu people love sport and they love to come here to play and relax in the evening. It's one of my favorite places here to... Let's play! To be honest, it's quite difficult. They're very gentle. Jayo, Chengdu is ready. Hello, I'm Alex. I'm a postgraduate from Sichuan University, and I will be a volunteer for the FISU Games. I'm really excited to do that. This is Vanessa. Hi, I'm Vanessa. I'm from Cameroon, and I'm a Sichuan University student. I will be a volunteer for the FISU Games, and I'm really excited. It's really a great feeling. Now we are in the Chengdu Volunteer Center, so follow us to the... Let's go take a look around the stadium. So we are now in the stadium. Welcome to the Taekwondo Arena. There will be the competition of the Taekwondo here for the FISU game. And also we will have our volunteer job here. This is our friend Guan Zhang and now he will, be, he will give us a brief introduction of the stadium and the volunteering job. Okay, 
The stadium was awesome. We are looking forward for our volunteering job. So we hope you enjoy the tour. Next, we will see the Fizu Game Village. So let's, let's go. go. 大家好，我叫李天佑，来自老挝。我叫杨浩达，来自印度尼西亚。So two of our volunteers, Fanisa and Alex, have already introduced the venue at the Sichuan University. So right now we are at the Fizu Games Village. As you can see, behind us was a welcome center. So let's follow us and have a look. Let's go. Let's go. Now we are in the welcoming center. Let's see how the preparation is. Uh, so we already invite uh, one of the staff that is working here. How is the process for the athletes to get into the uh, Thaian village? Can you explain to us? So that is one of our volunteers' work. So the next pass just let take an autonomous bus. What autonomous bus? So there is no driver at all? Yes. Let's have a try. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Wow, so right now we are inside an autonomous bus. So the bus will be open for experience during the competition. So right now, let's know more about the bus. Yes, because already, we already inviting the staff who is working here. So could you please introduce about the auto bus? Why is we set up here? Okay, thank you for your question. We also provided two bus with 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 two bus I wonder where we will be go next. So uh, just follow us and I will guide you to the next interesting place. Let's, Let's go. go. So right now we just finished trying the machine. Uh, so I, uh, I think it's, ve it's a very modern machine and I, it was very fun. So what about you? It looks so real. It makes me very scared. Oh. <laughs> I also need to know more about this machine, but lucky we have stuff here. Could you please tell me about this machine? Okay. 嗯，在这里我们就是太空之镜，是我们用 VR 技术和五 G 技术的一个融合。我们在这里设立呢，就是让让更多的外国友人，让全世界看到我们中国科技的力量，在现在全世界也能算是大国力量。So we already finished experience so many projects in the village. I wonder which one is your best. So for me, the most interesting part is when we try the autonomous bus. Right now, I'm very happy because of the village tour, and also I believe that it it will also bring a good experience for all the delegation. And we believe that Chengdu is ready. So with the Fizu Games, there's always two sides to it. One is the competition side, and the other one is the environment, the people, the networking, the cultures. From what I've seen so far, the venue seems amazing. Just the main media center is really impressive. I've heard from many of my colleagues and other media liaisons that they said that it looked even more up to date, new technology. Just around the MMC, like we see, you know, already just the cleaning facilities. It's all robotics. I see there's also security, which are like robots as well. I saw they have like coffee machines that is a robot doing your coffee, and also ping pong training with specific robots. So. You can just see that there's a good integration of new technology, especially robotics, within everything that is happening. China has been one of the leading actors, so you know, um, I'm not surprised that in Chengdu, with a, a city of uh, high technology, at the same time a city who has a very rich uh, cultural past, they try to improve the, the, the quality of life in this city, and that, uh, you know, I mean, uh, by definition, they also try to improve the quality of uh, the environment in the city, but also for the games. It's just fantastic. I mean, we cannot only praise this, this effort because today, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, uh, 
Uh, there are a lot of uh, issues, and environmental issues on the planet, and actually we forget that the planet is not at risk, it's the human species is, uh, is at risk. So uh, everything we do to basically uh, make sure that the human species can continue to live in a good environment is, is essential. Uh, the preparation has been fantastic, it's uh, FISO games, but it's Olympic level. And all these things, I mean, uh, made these games uh, absolutely outstanding and special, you know, very unique. So uh, we are all expecting uh, uh, the best of the best.